What is going on, Kingdom? So I don't have much time to speak, but I just wanted to do this while I'm outside today. Not sure how well you can see me, but listen, I just wanted to say this real quick. We have got to stop holding grudges within our community, you know what I'm saying? And it's something that, you know, is very encouraged nowadays is to hold grudges against people. Look at people like they're fake. Look at people like, they did this to me, they're wrong. I don't want them in my circle. I want them away. Listen, is I believe in, in my understanding, I work into God's understanding, and we are all children of God. You get what I'm saying? And we all make mistakes. We all mess up. You get what I'm saying? And this is, you know, this is coming from just the perspective of, of acceptance. I believe that we all have to learn, you know, I feel like a lot of the time the mentality where we look at certain people and say they're fake, they're not real, they're this, are, we're the same people who end up living within a mentality where we have to move on our own. We don't trust nobody. We live our own stuff. We live our own life. Listen, what I will say is, this is why we walk with God and this is why we keep God within within closeness. We pray to him, we speak to him, we develop, develop a relationship with him. And I know that's not the easiest thing, but I have spoken on that topic and it's about trusting in him and knowing that he's going to walk you in the right directions as we go throughout life you get what i'm saying and i just want to say you know we don't have to look at our brothers and sisters and say and yes i'm gonna be honest in saying that a lot of this time this is with an encouragement within the black community specifically separation a lot of people want for you know people in the black community who are specifically targeted the black community is specifically targeted i talk about this often within social media and so they want for people to separate they want you know within the music that we hear popular black artists make that is encouraged in the media specifically the media is twisting it it's not the way that black people are it's the way that the media is twisting it to make it seem like this is what you should do and this is how you should look at your community is you know these people are fake i don't trust nobody you know and you don't hear that within other communities you don't you know what I'm saying but specifically they want to separate the black community and I just want to tell you today when you stop holding grudges you know what I'm saying just in general I don't even care what you look like oh my phone fell I don't even care it is what it is I don't even care what you look like we need to not hold grudges. We need to stop holding grudges against people. You get what I'm saying? And understanding we all are children of God and we have to walk in this way, even for somebody that is making mistakes, even for the person that is, who may be addicted to drugs, who may be trying to scam people or scheme on people, whatever they might be doing. You get what I'm saying? Listen, I just want to say, that is a, ch that is a child of God. God, God made that person. God made that person and he put that person here. God wakes that person up. God made that person. We have to understand that person when we look at each other and we judge each other and we develop these grudges, it doesn't make a, it doesn't help make a change in that person or with you. And in fact, it makes it harder for you because you're holding a grudge against that person. So the first thing is to understand sometimes you do just got to pray for people. But we have to understand sometimes that, you know, we have to walk with God in these certain situations. If we do see something where it's in God's hands, keep it in God's hands. But when you stop holding grudges and looking at these people like they're just bad people or like they're just horrible people or they're fake or this and that, they're, they're a person just like you. They make mistakes just like you. And we all, you know what I'm saying, we all make mistakes. We all do junk that's messed up sometimes. We have to understand that we all have to walk in this together and understand each other, not judge each other. I just wanted to say that real quick while I was standing here as I felt like it was really strongly put, put in my heart, you know, and I'm just back outside again. Thank you. God bless you and thank you. You have an amazing morning, evening, and night. Thank you and God bless you. Whew.